Thank you for your donations, folks, they are very much appreciated. Also the comments that people make resonate with me, and in saying that you are the same as me tells me we're on the right track. I really want to help people get out of the quandary of disempowered matrix thinking. Your mind is your strongest asset and when earth mind connects to spirit mind, great things can happen. Understand if you relate that much to my story, that you have picked the same path as I have, empowerment of the feminine, yes, guys you have a feminine side as well, and balancing it out with the masculine on an unbalanced planet. Intuition, feminine, and intellect and action, masculine, work in harmony to overcome myriad obstacles that are placed in your way. And on that note, I have another to discuss. Being pulled in by others' energy. Ivo said, nature abhors a vacuum, and this means when someone of lower energy sets their sights on someone of higher energy, the higher energy is drawn out to create a balance between the two. I've got a new neighbor and he's 54, recently singled, and has me in his crosshairs. Ivo, understand, my love, that energy is always seeking balance. So as water does upon hitting a surface, it seeks its lowest level. Those of higher light are sought out by those of lower light, and this is more instinctive than it is anything else. It is a spiritual cry for help in fact. What in effect is happening in the case of this male who keeps suggesting you two spend time together is that he is of lower light, you are of higher light. So he is attracted to you. Upon other worlds, there would be a chance that furnishing him with higher light could aid him in many ways, such as giving up his addiction to drugs and perhaps to stop drinking. However, on your planet, because the lower energies are so tampered with and continually sucked dry by the demonics surrounding all of you, there is no healing process, in fact a process of the one of higher light continually giving and the one of lower light continually taking. And you have been in relationships like this before. As you ascend through higher dimensions, unity is sought out to greater degrees until finally when you are at the highest level of this multiverse, you are all one and conscious of it. Me. I have been in these relationships before. I can feel his interest and feel like I'm being drawn into a bad situation. Ivo, as has happened before. You are best to continue to cut cords, cut off your energy supply to him, white light your apartment and refuse to have anything to do with him. Me, he's going to come to my apartment and do renovations on it. Ivo, then you must insist he continue to work and stop proposing a rendezvous for you too. Me, it's like I keep saying, folks, if the dark ones can't get your light down, they will send people to you that will vampire it. I'm not interested in relating to people who can't hold their light. It's that simple. I'm not here to feed the vampires anymore, and frankly my body is so overstressed and overwhelmed at this point in my life, I'm not about giving away any more of my life energy. The guy wears a mask and he wants me to come over to watch TV with him. As if. He wants to poison me. He also smokes cigarettes, drinks, and does drugs. I suspect he's watching televangelists, sure, the Illuminati spreading the word of Jesus. If religion works so well for him, why does he still have to escape life through booze and drugs, never mind smoking? I used to make up excuses and lie and say things like, I don't have any money to go out, but in claiming this to be true, I would be manifesting that for myself. If it comes to that, I will just tell him the truth. I'm not available and he's already got three strikes against him, cigarettes, booze, and drugs. How do you tell people, I'm not interested in you, without insulting them? You can't. I've told him I don't drink, I don't do drugs, I don't watch TV, basically I don't live his lifestyle but he can't seem to clue into the fact that we're as different as night and day. When it boils down to it, I'm sure it's because he doesn't care. By the way, for you people who have had to deal with suitors that won't take a no, it's because you haven't hit on the real thing thereafter. Ivo, this is true. My love. Many of you have had the constant parade of potential suitors, male and female, who are simply energy vampires. It is something that you must learn to deal with effectively. Me, 
he's religious, that's another difference. I don't like the smell of pot and any smoke makes me cough. He finally left when I started talking about my cat. LOL. I haven't dated anyone since I was in my 40s and dating is a bad habit I gave up because I could never find anyone like myself. I was always attracting men who helped me heal from the abuse of my father. Well, I'm over that now and I'm in the relationship I want to be in. I just think I'm doing something that attracts men I don't want. And I don't want any man. Ivo, you were being nice. Me, yes, I drove him to the craft store to see if they had the incense he wanted. But they didn't have the right stuff. I can't just be nice and have someone just like me and say hello. No, it has to be a relationship. Ivo, you must understand that you are the stuff this world is starving for, my love. Me, that goes for the rest of you guys as well. And I don't mind pointing out that my needs go unmet on this planet because nobody can meet them. So I'm not interested in anyone. And I'm not interested in taking care of a person who isn't grown up yet, because alcoholics and drug addicts are escapists who don't face life, they run from it. Maybe they have cause to want to duck out early on in life, like I did, but at some point we have to face it. It doesn't go away. The pain only gets worse. And escapism is another program run by the dark ones. Ivo and I will do a channeling on this topic as well. Ivo, I wish to mention, my love, that the vampires of your world, the unseen entities that siphon your life energy from you, are what keep this world off balance. Me, what is there to be done about them? Ivo, yes, it is easy. Simply sending them white light will rob them of so much energy that they will be powerless to stop the fate of being taken back into the light. Me, so it destroys them. Ivo, yes. When you are aware of such an entity, send it white light and send it so much that it will be destroyed. It is not for no reason they attempt to get your energy level down in any way that they can, because you are a threat to their existence, unless they can control you. So they send you vampires that aid them in siphoning your energy. Send them white light. It will destroy them. Me, okay, thanks. I know the GFL is removing as many as possible. Ivo, there are many. The lower fourth dimension is clear of these astral entities but many exist still around you on Earth. As it rises in frequency they will diminish and ultimately be destroyed as well because they cannot live in the higher frequencies, but send them white light and destroy them now. They will be recycled and given another chance to exist as a being of light, but they must start off from the beginning again. Me, as a rock. Ivo, or some other form of lower consciousness. As for your thinking, oh God, not this again. Do not make it your problem, my love. Let it be his problem, not yours. Me, but I can feel a pull. Ivo, yes, you have a past with dysfunctional men and there is some familiarity. However you know better and you are with me now. Do not think that people on your planet are not hit upon just because they are with someone, or married. This problem of appealing to undesirable others is shared by many people. And that has to do with their energy level. It has nothing to do with their appearance. They have much energy and there are others upon this planet who seek to take it from them. Energy seeks balance always. Me, okay, thanks, Ivo. I'm just going to ignore him. I hate being that nasty but I don't want to connect with him. Ivo there is such a thing as being too nice, my love. Me, there's nothing wrong with being nice either, Ivo. Helping out someone who's unfamiliar with your city. Chatting with a neighbor. What's wrong with that? Nothing. No, for me, it always nets me a man I don't want, someone who is addicted to drugs. The conversation this afternoon was revealing, but I can't stand having these conversations about drugs, alcohol, and partying. I'm so fed up of these guys who just can't focus on anything but getting high or loaded. They have been all around me all my life. I don't drink anymore and I never did drugs so this is no reflection on me at all. 
I just keep attracting them because they need help but won't acknowledge it. The drug addicted boozer is probably the worst one for thinking they have their life together and everything's fine and that's because they're living in denial. Denial tells them they have to keep up their habit and they'll be fine. Yes, till they run out of money, and then they start looking for sugar mamas to pay their way through life while they take her cash. Been there, done that, learned the lesson. Ivo, your world is out of balance. In a balanced world, in a telepathic world, all would be understood at a moment's notice and these things would be resolved and your wishes honored. Your people are not taught to respect others' wishes. They are taught to demand to have their own way, regardless of others' free will. Me, the other thing is so many people don't listen when you say no. Ivo, say it anyway. Me, this is so annoying. Ivo, which is the advantage of the dark ones then, they have you off balance. Me, true. Thank you Ivo. Ivo, he is not a very pushy man. He would be easy to say no to. As far as offending him or any situation where people are easily offended, you must understand that the rampant egotism on your world is responsible for this. Someone who is humble does not get offended. They realize that they are not everyone's cup of tea, and they realize that people have other objectives. The Matrix tells you that all people must be in a couple, not single. Me, oh yeah. Like in They Live, the signs said, marry and reproduce. Ivo, exactly. Being single is not an option in the matrix. Me, I know. I went through that too. People trying to set me up with their single friends because I had the single disease. Being third wheel with your married girlfriends and their husbands. These guys were good about it at least. Ivo, I should think that any man who is seen with two attractive women might feel more ego than others who simply have one. Me, what's the good of it all if I have all the answers? I know all the background information on this, and have first-hand experience with people like this, but it does me no good because they won't listen to me, and everything I know doesn't help them and in the end does it help me. I had to run from the last one like that because he was going to beat me and now I get hit on by my neighbors, all of them. They all think I'm there for their sakes. People don't know how to have relationships. You give first and then see if they give back. If you're throwing good after bad down a dark hole and never seeing anything back, then you've got vampires. Ivo, your world is seriously off balance, my love. The people are part of the scarcity mentality. They do not believe they have anything to give, so they only want to take. The matrix tells you you must find your mate, understanding that few of you really know how to, and that you will all be mismated because of the difference between male and female egos. It is a commitment to overcoming ego and working out your differences, that is the stuff of successful relationships. Me, well, for me, there was always four of us in a relationship, me, him, Johnny Walker and Mary J. Wanna. Sometimes she brought her worst friends into the relationship. You can't have a relationship with someone who's strung out on heavy drugs. Their brains get fried. I've had enough stress to deal with for one lifetime, long ago. That's why I stopped dating at 40. Ivo, indeed. We will cease here, my love. Me, thanks, Ivo. Ivo, withdraw your energy. You put your energy into what you determine you wish to create. 